Hi, very good morning to you. It's Gene from Mavstar. How is your new year going for you at this very moment? I hope it's going really well. And even though it does look like a grim outlook for 2024, I hope it will be better than 2023 for you and not as bad as what it could be. Let's just say that. Um, I wanted to do a, a whinging video about everything, <laughs> you know, like why is mainstream media, you know, not reporting on any of the three topics that we cover on this channel in any gr uh, great detail. What we're talking about, magnetic pole reversal, you know, something that last happened, if we're talking just an excursion, 12,000 years ago, that's a big number. And if we're talking about the actual completed reversal, we're going to go back hundreds of thousands of years. Yeah, 780,000 years. And as always, I like to let you know that on average, our Earth used to go for a reversal every 300,000 years or so. So we're half a million years overdue a reversal. And right now, at this very moment, our planet is in the process of a reversal. Now I've got some uh, different graphics on the screen for you to have a quick look at um, and we'll just talk briefly about them. So, you know, with a weakening magnetosphere, which is accepted by the mainstream organisations but never talked about as, uh, you know, a contributor to climate change, for some reason, they won't. You know, you'd think that a weakening magnetosphere would be the only thing they would talk about and they would never talk about that trace gas CO2 carbon dioxide but you know they seem to talk about something which is one of the least abundant gases in our atmosphere and then completely overlook the other trimolecule that is in our atmosphere in mega abundance and the reason why it's in that in the atmosphere is because the magnetosphere is weakening and this is allowing a build up of cosmic rays in our upper atmosphere which present themselves as perfect seeding platforms for water droplets to condensate on. Now CO2 is a gas and the H2O molecule is a liquid. So you can imagine um, why our jet streams are becoming laden in the polar jet streams and you know they are fragmenting and intertwining with the tropics and of course any climate scientist that really understands the chemistry of what is causing these changes would agree, would absolutely agree that this is more plausible than saying that CO2 is causing the climate change because this gives actual a reason. You know, we can, we can visualize a lot of laden heavy water in the atmosphere atmosphere mixing in the jet streams and causing these fragmentations and of course depending on where they dislocate and mix with the tropics or the tropics mix with the polar jet streams depends on how much snow we get in far northern hemispheres and how much water we get in the lower latitudes so we used to have on the top right hand side as you can see a polar jet stream and a subtropical jet stream uh, at 60 degrees north your polar jet stream 30 degrees uh, uh, north your subtropical now they're not in the positions that you can see and this is a photograph on the top left of the planet on North School and you can see that those jet streams aren't in a nice wavy pattern across the 30 degrees or the 60 degrees regions of the northern and southern hemispheres for that matter they are super jet streams heavily laden with water and of course you know when they're traveling at miles and miles an hour they are going to dislocate when the uh, winds change direction of course if they're carrying a lot of water it's like trying to maneuver you know an articulated lorry at high speeds you know the trailer is going to go out just as a metaphor but you know i didn't want to just be whinging in this video but i can't help it saying a few things um I did, and I haven't held it against anyone. I did feel a little bit let down. Um, what started to happen in October last year to us was at a critical time. You know, I've got a family. I was reliant on, you know, keeping the funds coming in uh, for myself, my family, and the observatory. And, you know, I was let down 
in a in a way i'm not blaming anyone because you know what the cost of living crisis has affected a lot of people and you just have to take it on the chin like i did but you know i looked at those 60,000 subscribers and i thought you know it would have been so easy if just a few people had made just a little bit more effort because at the end of the day when we do a video we have two or three thousand people every single time we do a video and even that small amount a number of people could have you know chipped in a few bucks we would never be in a situation like we are now nevertheless guys you know i haven't abandoned anyone you know we are going to keep delivering uh the pole shift news at least once a month we're going to do the magnetic north pole positioning for you and we're going to give it you on um you know the hope that you know things will improve let's hope that the global situation with the cost of living crisis does at some point recover because we have and we do a unique observatory here that covers a very rare topic and does it in a much more honest uh, way than I believe anyone else on the internet I really do and certainly more than anyone else on YouTube you know the things that we talk about sometimes are very technical and we get right to the point of what's causing the problems because at the end of the day that's what people want to know you know is it co2 is it water if it's water then why is water causing the jet streams to dislocate well it's because two things a magnetosphere reduction in strength and of course the heliosphere reducing in strength which is like a big magnetosphere that covers the whole of our solar system and is generated by healthy production of solar activity and of course for the last four cycles now it has been on the low ends we haven't reached an equilibrium or a bottom point yet that has been noted that we can say okay we're at the bottom now maybe things can get better it is still going lower and lower unfortunately so we are going to see more weakening of the heliosphere that means more cosmic rays inbound to our solar system and as a point of the fact that we are going through a magnetic reversal we're going to get more cosmic rays inbound interfering with our upper atmospheric gases it isn't co2 like the mainstream think and would like you to believe it really isn't it is the scapegoat which they are using to generate wealth clearly from the general public and i think it's nothing short of gross public mistrust but let's face it it's not just with relationship to what's going on in our climate is it it's what's going on everywhere around us now you know in the uk the hs2 scam costing billions and overrunning by billions as well nobody being accountable for that you know we have the queen elizabeth aircraft carriers another scam and then we have you know the uk saying we are going to contribute uh, x amount of hundreds of billions of pounds to the united nations so that they can help combat global warming remember al gore by 2014 there will be no polar bears because they'll be extinct they'll have no habitation to live in thrive and surviving you know kids will not see snow ever again and the ice caps will have melted well 10 years on from his prediction point of where all that would happen guess what we have more than 8 million square kilometers more ice and the ice caps for the last 10 years have been gradually rebounding should that come as a surprise to you when we talk about the third anomaly which we cover on this channel the returning back to a glacial period if we're at the end of the scale where we've enjoyed the best of the weather in the Milinkovic cycle and we are going to go back into a 90,000 year dip then we should expect the ice caps to start rebounding shouldn't we and of course for the last 10 years we've been seeing that I think it's too early to call yet but it's a positive sign isn't it at least it's a sign that you know Al Gore was wrong he hasn't given back his Nobel Peace Prize he's still very much part of what goes on with climate talk and let's face it cop 28 he got he got really upset when you know the petro uh states around the world said do not sign up to anything 
and rightfully so because we shouldn't expect like we wouldn't expect individuals to give up their homely incomes and sacrifice their families we should not accept countries that rely solely on petro sales to give up their only source of income we shouldn't expect that and in any case it's on the back of a load of lies and bad science and it's no wonder when we look at the thousand scientists that signed up about global warming and what it was caused by we find one of those individuals was called Mickey Mouse it's a slap in the face for all of us it really is when we're interested in the truth but mainstream media only want to feed us you know like kindergarten stories in the news and on the mainstream TV news networks you know who we know that there's just a handful of people that own these networks and it's no coincidence when you start seeing repeat the information across all different networks we know there is no competition between them they're all working together but when it comes down to people like us on individual platforms social media platforms talking about the real issues well they're going to come after us aren't they they're going to demonetize us they're going to shadow ban our channels and they're going to discredit us and you know uh, put us in a very bad situation for talking about it simply because they know that what we're talking about holds some credibility and may in most cases i believe these days we are right much more right than they are and we're not out for ourselves to wax ourselves rich we're just out there to help like good human beings but these individuals and we know who they are now clearly the bill gates of the world the rich elites that tell us you know we shouldn't be driving a car yet at the same time they have their pumping out polluting private yachts and private jets you know they run up more co2 into the atmosphere in a single week than what an individual family does in a year that's the truth and it's very sad so i just wanted to say to you guys we're still here hopefully you know we can do something about the suffering uh support that we're getting for the channel and you know i'll just at this point mention the link and also just say to you guys you know continue um trying to make 2024 better than 2023 despite what we're faced with don't let it ruin your character okay guys I'm going to say what I usually do. You take care of your loved ones and I'll be back in a few days, maybe with a positioning of the magnetic North Pole for you. As always, bye for now.